Hello everyone, welcome back to Tales of Two Travelers. We're currently enjoying a nice afternoon out and about in Sevilla. And in this episode, we'd like to share with you our frugal habits when traveling. Regardless of your budget and lifestyle, saving money while traveling is always a good thing. You can afford to travel longer or have more monies for other things in life. And it doesn't have to come at the expense of your enjoyment. We've cultivated these habits over years of our traveling experience. So without further ado, let's get on with the list. Our first habit is to travel light. Minimize our luggage and bring only what we need. Airlines, trains, and buses usually have weight limit for luggages and charge for extra. So bringing less will save you money. We can travel for months with only one luggage and one carry-on bag each. And we still find that we almost always carry things more than what we need, so there is still room for improvement. Habit number two is to travel slowly. The bulk of our traveling costs is usually spent on accommodations and transportation. The less we move from place to place in our travel, the more we save because we don't incur transportation costs. We also get better deals for longer term accommodations and stays. It also makes for a more enjoyable, relaxing, and quality travel. Our next habit is to book and stay in a house or an apartment instead of a hotel. This almost always ends up being cheaper without sacrificing comfort, with exceptions in a few locations like Japan. In addition to having more space, we can also experience living like locals. The next one is also second nature to us. It's to always look for deals and discounts. Many music and attractions have free admission days, so we plan to go on those days. We are here and it's free entrance on Fridays at 10 a.m. Tickets are often cheaper online than in the venue themselves. Some cities offer tourist packages that combine multiple attractions at a discounted price. You get the idea. A very simple habit that saves us money in the long run is to bring our own reusable water bottle everywhere. It's not only frugal, it's also a healthy habit and kinder to the environment. Buying bottled water may only cost you one or two dollars each time, but it quickly adds up. In countries where the tap water is not potable, it's easy enough to boil our own water. And in some cities, there are water fountains everywhere for free and easy refills. Similarly, we also have the habit of bringing a few food containers when we are traveling. We can prepare and pack our own food when we are out and about but do not want to eat out. This also comes in handy to pack leftovers when we order too much food, which is common in the Western countries because their portions are so much bigger. We don't want to waste good food. Since we're talking about food, staying in an apartment also makes it easier for us to cook our own meals while traveling. We believe trying local food is a must when we travel. It's an important part of experiencing uh, local culture. But it gets expensive and often unhealthy to do this for every meal. So we like to alternate between the two. When shopping for groceries, we also look for local in-season produce. They're usually cheaper. And in the course of figuring out what to make out of those local ingredients, we may discover a new dish. Our next frugal habit, which is also healthy and environmentally friendly, has to do with how we choose to get around a city or a town when we travel. As much as possible, we choose to walk. Good thing I love to walk and I could walk all day while traveling because of the interesting sights we see along the way. Walking is a great way to get oriented and discover a new city. If our destinations are not within walking distance or walking is not an option, we opt to use public transportation. The next one is to use cards with good exchange rate or travel perks. When traveling, credit card can be the most convenient way to pay. This year, we started using WISE and Raffle cards as they are offering a better exchange rate compared to all of our other credit cards. In addition to saving on the rates, we do not need to exchange the money in advance. So, we avoid bringing too much cash or having too much cash left over in multiple currencies at the end of the journey. 
This may be different for you if you have a credit card that rewards overseas spending and offset that less than ideal exchange rates. So, use this tip with your own discretion. Habit number 10 is to travel with family and friends. As much as the two of us love to travel with each other, where possible we always take the opportunity to travel with family and friends. Good things in life are better when shared, and travel experiences are definitely high on the list. The fact that everyone gets to save by sharing the expenses is a great bonus. We get to the last frugal habit on the list, and arguably the most important. The saying that you can't improve what you don't measure is true. We always plan and budget our expenses, track the actual costs, and analyze them as we go. We do this to stay on top of our spending, revisit our planning assumptions, and improve our next travel plan. We've published a video about our actual costs in Barcelona for a month. If you are interested in that kind of information, do check it out. We hope you find some of these habits useful and applicable for your own travel. Do you have other frugal habits we should know about? Let us know in the comments. If you're interested in traveling in general, and how we can afford to travel for an extended period of time in particular, consider subscribing to our channel. We'll make more videos on this topic in the future. See you in the next one!